Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today's my lecture is about classification of membrane transport process which occur across the cell membrane in our body. At first, what is membrane transport process? Membrane transport is the process by which different substances are transported across the biological membrane in a biological system. All the cells in our body must be supplied with essential substance like nutrient, water, electrolytes, etc. Cells also must get rid of many unwanted substances like waste materials, carbon dioxide, etc. The cell achieve this by means of transport mechanisms which occur across the cell membrane. Structure of cell membrane is well suited for the transport of substance in and out of the cell. Lipid and proteins of cell membrane play an important role in the transport of various substance between the ECF and ICF. Two types of basic mechanisms are involved in the transport of substance. These are at first active transport mechanism, secondly passive transport mechanism. The active transport mechanism is further classified into primary active transport, secondly secondary active transport. The example of primary active transports are sodium potassium pump, calcium pump, hydrogen pump, etc. Secondary active transport classified into co-transport and counter-transport. The examples of co-transport mechanisms are sodium glucose co-transport and sodium amino acid co-transport. In counter-transport there are sodium calcium counter-transport and sodium hydrogen counter-transport. Secondly, passive transport mechanism which is classified into diffusion and osmosis. Diffusion is further subdivided into simple diffusion and facilitated diffusion. This is the flowchart of classification of transport mechanism which occur across the cell membrane. Thank you for your patience hearing.